In today's video, let us talk about how mindful you should be about the risk you take for additional return. By watching this video, you will learn how to navigate between higher return and higher risk. This means you will avoid unnecessary risk by madly chasing elusive high returns. It is very hard to find anyone not willing to accept additional return on investments. However, if possibility of additional returns come with elevated risk, many become nervous. But in financial markets, those who do not learn to measure the relationship between risk and return and continue staying nervous, they lose out on several opportunities and stay behind in wealth creation. The reality is not too kind to reward you with high and safe returns without accompanying risk. William Sharp, a Nobel Prize winner, defined the process to measure the relationship between risk and return and help all of us get a hang on relativity. Today, in financial world, for almost all instruments, Sharp ratio is used to express the units of extra return for every unit of risk undertaken. For a given time frame, if the value derived is more than one, it is deemed healthy. In fact, higher the value, higher is the safety. For this, we assume the easily available and much less complicated instrument as basis and call it risk-free return. For debt instruments, one takes government securities or GSEC rate as risk-free return. For equities, it is generally the index like Nifty or Sensex. Though Nifty and Sensex could result in loss in bad times, it is assumed that equity investors are aware of the market risk or systemic risk inbuilt in variable income assets like equities. All mutual fund schemes are required to provide sharp ratio comparing their performance with their stated benchmark. They may have taken NSE 500 or Midcap or Nifty as benchmark. However, in real life, not many of us know the levels of such less popular indices and would prefer to relate opportunities with Nifty or Bank FDs in case of debt securities. So, how is it calculated? We need to know the tenure of proposed investment to begin with and historical returns of risk-free investments and proposed alternative. Let us now take an example and understand how Sharpe ratio is calculated. For four-year time period of a mutual fund comparing with index. For example, every four-year time period like 1st January 2010 to 31st December 2013. Like this, there are several four-year time periods have been considered and the mutual fund returns for those periods and the index returns are also captured and the difference is also calculated. Once we do all these calculations for all the time periods that are possible, then we average the mutual fund return, which has come as 9.87, and we average the index return, which has come as 2.88, and finally, the difference between these two, mutual fund and index return, also is measured, and the volatility of that, please understand, it is not the average. Volatility of the difference using standard deviation formula is calculated. That has come as 6.82. Once you have all these values, you use the formula of average return of the mutual fund minus average return of the index divided by the volatility of the returns difference. That means divided by 6.82. This has given a sharp ratio of 1.03. If the calculated Sharpe ratio is less than 1, it means there is more risk of you ending up with lesser than benchmark or index in this case from your investments. If it is equal or very close to 1, you are very likely to be ahead over index return for most periods. If it is more than 1, you are very likely to get significantly more returns than index. Higher the value, better are your chances to earn higher income. Now, let us see how a very popular mutual fund scheme's sharp ratios had been over 3, 5 and 10 year time frames. Now, if you can see from 3 year column, you will understand that not even one of the mutual fund schemes has a sharp ratio of more than 1, which implies none of these schemes were guaranteed to generate a return that is higher than their own benchmark. And when you look at the 5 years, still the case is same, not even one mutual fund has made 1. And at the same time, even for 10-year period, not even one mutual fund has generated a sharp ratio of more than one, which implies top 20 mutual funds in this country are not likely to generate a return higher than their own benchmarks. This is what everyone needs to understand. Hence, it is more important to follow a safer approach of mutual fund investments than simple buy and hold for long term. 
You may refer to the video Pick Top Mutual Funds Anytime and Every Time from our channel sometime in the past which showcased the process and returns. You may take time to check the past performance of longer time frames yourself at any time. The sharp ratios of Vivekam's mutual fund rebalance process for 3 years, 5 years and 10 years. As you can see from the table, the highest value given by the schemes, any of the schemes for 3 year period was 0 0.6, whereas Vivekam has generated a 0.65 value of sharp ratio. And for 5 year period, Mirai Asset Emerging Mutual Fund has generated 0.78 sharp ratio, whereas Vivekam's process has delivered 1.6 sharp ratio. And for 10 year period, again Mirai Asset has generated 0.81, whereas Vivekam's process has generated a sharp ratio of 4.8. This clearly implies the possibility of getting a return higher than index is very very high with Vivekam's process as compared to any other scheme in the country that exists as of today. While these ratios conclusively prove that it is safer to go with this approach than conventional buy and hold, all the viewers are humbly requested to contact our team on the numbers given at the end of this video and check us as many times as needed. Ask us any number of doubts you may have, write to us as many times as needed, but please realize that you alone are responsible for your wealth creation. If you like the content in this video and feel it is useful, please share and recommend our videos to your friends investing in equities or mutual funds. Do you really need any more proofs to decide what is the best course of action for your mutual fund investments in order to earn more and more and be safe? We wish you good fortune in whatever you do in your investment journey. Thank you.